In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves for this Mass by first confessing our faults. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, when I have done what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints and sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Easter mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new by holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community. So they chose Step Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit. Also, Philip, Tartarus, Nicanor, Timian, Parmasius, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And alike living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house 
into a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Christ Jesus. For it says in Scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you who have faith. But for those without faith, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And a stone that will make people stumble, and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobeying the word, as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith in me. In my Father's house there are many places to live. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again, and I will take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to Jesus, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him, you have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak of my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. And as we see, as we keep on moving through the Acts of the Apostles, it's always done the Acts of the Apostles in Easter time. It's the history of the beginning of the church. I've told you that before. It's the history of what took place in those days in the church, long time ago, 2,000 years ago, 
What took place at the church? Was it like this? No, it wasn't like this. But the people were just like the way we are too. Real good Christians. We're still doing the same thing. They gathered to go to church. They went every Sunday, the day of the resurrection. They didn't go on the Sabbath. They now were Christians. They went on Sunday, the day of the resurrection. They gathered together and were companions and friends with one another. They try to encourage one another, help one another, listen to one another's burdens, your crosses, your difficulties, and try to help people by talking and praying with them and so forth. That's the way they live. We're doing the same thing today in church. We do the same thing. It's in a different way, though. And then another thing they did was that they tried to help the poorer people in the community. The, the, the people that were Christians, the early Christians, they were not very rich people. They were poor, poor people. Not poor, poor, but you know, odd like us, ordinary people. But some of them didn't have any money. Some of them were widows. In those days, to be a widow was a terrible thing. To have a family without a father, a woman without a husband. She was vulnerable in the community. You could pick on her if you wanted to. You could abuse her, use her. That's the way it was when you didn't have a man to protect you. That's the way it was in those days. And in some ways, it's like that too. In any event, the Christian community always remember what Jesus said. Help one another. Be good to one another. Pray for one another. Pray together for one another. Come before the Lord and try to follow what he told us to do. That's the Christian life. However, things started to cause trouble. We saw it in today's reading. There were different divisions already in the church. There was that group and that group and that group. They had different ideas how this should be run. You know how it goes in a community. You know how it goes in a club. You know what goes into an organization. People start dividing on ideas. And I want to be in charge. No, no, he should be in charge. Who's going to be in charge? See, all those troubles like we have today in communities and in, 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 in gatherings, clubs, organizations, you have to have organization. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So to make a long story short, the, what they did was in order to help the poor people, they appointed different men, good character, good people in the community, people that were really Christian and showed it by the way they talked and walked and acted. They picked them to do the work, what was called the diaconate. We're beginning to see the rise of the diaconate now. The priesthood we know, but who are the deacons? You know them today. They're the ones they appointed to take care of the poor and the sick and those who needed help. Community worked out well, except fights. No, don't do it that way. Do it my way. No, don't do it that way. Well, we do it this way, and you do it that way. Our Lord said, may they all be one. May you all be one. No divisions among you. Try to get along. You know what I mean? Cooperate. Be humble. Try to do the right thing. So that's how it developed, little by little, little, until later on it became big splits in the church. I mean big ones, big ones. But that's the way it was. And then they followed what they were told to do by Christ. You know, traveling, as we don't do much today because of the virus, but traveling is a big thing for people all around the world. Don't think it's just America. Italians like to travel, the French like to travel, the Spaniards like to travel, the Jews, everybody likes to travel. Go on vacation, get out of what you're in, relax, get away. But if you don't know where you're going, then where are you going to go? You plan it, don't you? You plan it. Some people, if they're going to take a road trip from here to Los Angeles and buy the car with the kids in the car, they have maps maps otherwise you're going to get lost stay on the road because if you get off you might go to a place where you don't belong 
You're not in the right place. You could get in trouble or difficulty. You don't know where you're going. My brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, Jesus said who he was. He says, I am the road. I am the way. What do you mean you're the way? You're the only way? He said, yes, I am. I am the way that, we, that you learn from me how to live. You learn from me how to pray, how to live and to be a Christian. That's the way to go. Nice, isn't it? But we learn if you're too good, you're gonna get stepped on. If you're very kind, people are gonna take advantage of you. We've all gone through it in life, so we learn how to get tough in life. And he said, don't do that, don't fight. Don't abuse one another. Try to get along all the time. Stay together. Don't break up. My brothers and sisters, that is so important in the world today. We're beginning to realize now the problems that we had in the country with this virus. Not only the virus, but what it's doing to families. I heard on the radio, I saw on television, families are having a lot of troubles today. A lot of trouble. I don't know if you heard, I did. Depression, mental diseases. Everybody wants to get out and hear music and dance and run and get out. They can't do it anymore now. I can't stand being here alone in my home. I have the feeling myself these days. It's tough to be alone all the time. We like to be with people. We're learning how important the family is and how important it is for every member in the family, every member, to pull together towards the center. Because if you go that way, and she goes that way, and he goes that way, it's not gonna work. How do we keep the family together? It's not easy, is it? Well, it takes a lot of virtue. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of patience. It takes a lot of kindness, it takes a lot of forgiving, it takes a lot of charity, it takes a lot to keep the family together. My brothers and sisters, that's the way to live. Not the way we've been going these last 25, 30, 40 years in this country. You, you know what I'm talking about. All this stuff that's going on, I mention all the time because it's what's ruining us. How did it happen? How did this happen? All these druggies, all these people taking drugs and, and liquor and so forth and so on. Nobody watching the girls or the boys. They do whatever they want. They can live together, go out to you, do what you want. It's been a very permissive society. Christ never started that type of thing. He never started that. He started a Christian community. Follow me. I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the life. Very simply, he's saying, follow me. Every time he saw someone he wanted on his team, like Peter and Andrew, he said, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me, he said. Learn from me. Learn how to learn. Learn how to be. Virtue is important. Prayer life is important. God is important. Listen to me and follow me. Well, some do and some don't. I should say maybe a lot more don't. So it's up to us. We're in charge now. He left. He's telling us, follow me, trust me, pray. Live the commandments, live a decent life, live a godly life. Pray, pray for that grace, faith and hope and charity and give it off to one another in the family and in the community. What a nice way to live when you think of it. But you see the way we are. I'm gonna go my own way. So you and I, you are watching on television. If, you, if you're in a messy situation right now, a difficult situation with your family, think of what I'm saying to you, give it a chance. Everything else has been tried and we know it doesn't work. Things are getting worse. It seems like nobody's happy. Well, try another way, a Christian way of living a decent way of living, an honest way of living, a holy way of living, and see if that works. My brothers and sisters, you'll see that it does work. 
So if you need to do something today with your life, why not give it a chance? You tried everything else, maybe. Well, try his way and see if it works. It does. History proves it. It's a wonderful way of life, is the Christian life. It's a wonderful marriage, a Christian marriage. It's a wonderful community that lived the virtues of the Christian life, the virtues of Christ. Let us stand now and recite the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begot not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, that it's our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was encountered the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. And now we pray. As people called by God, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, let us present our needs to God with confidence. For all of us baptized into Christ's church and the royal priesthood, may the Lord continue to increase our faith for the sake of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in positions of authority, may God's grace enable them to lead with integrity, protecting life from conception of the natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For any who are struggling to believe and those whose faith is weak, May Christ speak to their troubled hearts and give them hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have been welcomed into the church this Easter season, may the Holy Spirit continue to form them as living stones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those infected with or recovering from the coronavirus, May Jesus, the Divine Physician, offer them hope and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially those who have died from the coronavirus, may he who has prepared a place for them welcome them to the splendor of their heavenly home. And we pray especially for Anna Russo, Felicia Agapino and Giovanna and Pasquale Vitero, for whom this Mass is being offered. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those petitions that remained in our hearts and all those who have asked for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray on this Mother's Day, it really is tomorrow Mother's Day, for all the mothers of this country and around the world, that they know and understand that we appreciate very much what they have done for us, their love, their care, their protection, and giving us birth. For all the mothers in the world, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Gracious God, you know what we need before we ask you. Please listen to these prayers, which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now for the offertory. My brothers and sisters, pray now that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name for all the Holy Church. Amen. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation. Always endeavor to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. But we praise you more in this Easter season when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for our sins. By the offering of his body on the cross, he brought the sacrifice of the Old Testament to fulfillment. In the reality of the cross, that by commending himself to you for our salvation, he showed himself to be the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praises, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
indeed holy O Lord the fount of all that is holy make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, of her spouse, St. Joseph, the blessed apostle, the holy martyrs, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now let us pray together the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and glory yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other now a sign of peace. Sign of peace. peace, peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. To the body and blood of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, O Lord, we pray. Lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways of life to a new life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is finished. Let us live in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.